so then let me get your thoughts on that one. That could be my last one. Um, Canelo Frissy left PBC. Um, it's reported that he's gonna sign with the Zone to fight maybe like a Berlanga in May and a um, a Munguia in September. What are your thoughts on that whole situation? Man? I said if you're jumping over Bud, then you tripping. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. I said if you jump over Bud with any of the names that you just said, listen, Bud is the most accomplished in, uh, in the sport outside of a Canelo. But, I mean, I don't know if Canelo then had two. It's, it's undisputed twice. Have he been undisputed twice? No. No. Well, let's see it. Well, is, is let's Cro see it. Is Crawford a more difficult fight than David Benavidez, though? Huh? Is Crawford a more difficult fight for Canelo than David Benavidez, though? Um, I would say that right now Crawford is deserving of what he done in the sport of boxing to step up. I'll tell you this. I right, Listen, mm -hmm. I'll tell you this. And I'm going to tell you, and I told you. I said... Canelo would fight Floyd, but he ain't going to fight Crawford. Mm -hmm. but, and I'll tell you this. Floyd wouldn't fight Crawford. Well, so he's telling me in his, and, and in, no, in his prime. No. Crawford, Crawford, listen, would have fight him? Crawford is hard to handle. So you would the only, Listen, the only man you want to think about trying to put is put Devin on him, and it ain't going to happen. So you that's would, the kind of feat. That's the kind of shit you need. So you would take Crawford over Mayweather in a prime for prime type fight pretty much. Absolutely. Right now. Okay. Fair enough. But Listen, I, I can't let you skate by. I'm, you didn't I'm really gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. Okay. Let me just tell you. Mm -hmm. What what Crawford is is a complete fighter. He's a killer. He's a technician. And he's the most underrated in his era because he lived in the Floyd Mayweather era. So he didn't have the the, the Bud Crawford era to himself. You see what I mean? That's a fair point, but I mean, I think everybody thinks that Crawford is pound for pound number one, but Benavidez is a much bigger guy. Doesn't have to move up. Who would Crawford classes. beat this on Floyd resume right now? Tell me. That's on Floyd's resume? Yes. Who ain't you going to have Crawford favored over on Floyd's resume right now? You taking too long. Yeah, I know. But you can say the same thing for everybody Crawford's for it, though. They're How not, you going to say the same thing they, I just said, and I just asked you a question? I, I said, you, on, you're, on you're Floyd's resume, right. on right. Floyd's resume, who is Crawford not favored to beat? I'd probably say Crawford probably be favored to beat all of them. All of them. That's but, what I just told you. But I also think that Mayweather would easily beat everybody that, that Crawford is for it as well. Easily. Easily. I don't think the guys he fought will win around against him. I, I'm, I, I, I agree with you on that one. Okay. That's why I said, <laughs> that's why I said is that Crawford is one of the most underrated fighters to have an era that he doesn't necessarily have, that he's had, but he doesn't necessarily have because it was part of the Floyd Mayweather era. Okay. And to be fair, Cotto would have gave Crawford some work. Castillo would have gave him some work as well. Who? I think um, Castillo, I, I think... Um, I think um, Cotto would also give him some work as well. So I'd say gave him some work, but I'm, I'm, I don't have none of them favorite to beat him. A hundred percent, man. Um, last question for you. Your son might be, and I have to say, might be the the best guy at 140 pounds. But Teofimo, not might be. I mean, you could say that. I, mean, I can't. I can't say okay. that though. So listen, <laughs> I can't say you. that. Listen, he is the best fighter at 140, the most skilled fighter right now. So, so, who, so who's the more difficult fight for your son at 140? Would it be Matias or would it be Tia? The most what? Who would be the more difficult fight? Would it be Matias, IBF well, champ, the, the or difficult Tia? fight is the next fight that you have in front of you, and that's Ryan Garcia. We cannot look past Ryan Garcia in that left hand that he has. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? Um, at any given point, Ryan has the ability to end the fight. So it takes complete concentration. And for a young fighter and, and on the big stage in front of all the lights to stay disciplined, that's what we just showed with the Regis Pro Great fight. And I'm sure we're going to show it with uh, the Ryan Garcia fight as well. Gotcha. And just my last question for you. Um, you're a guy that's been able to put your son in a ton of big fights, position him really well. What would you say to a guy like Boots, who's having the most difficult friggin' time in the world, getting a big fight, getting a guy like um, like Crawford or Thurman, guys like that? How would you try to like position him to be like, okay, we're gonna get you the big fight? What would you do? What advice would you kind of tell him? Outside of hiring me, Boots, listen, 
go talk to the only human being that's a Hall of Fame fighter and a Hall of Fame promoter. That's who? Floyd Mayweather? Oh, no. I, Oscar, Oscar De La Hoya. Sorry, sorry, Oscar De La Hoya. Sorry. Yes, yeah. Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> you know, I'm saying this. Sometimes you got to go outside the box to do what needs to happen. So for this fight, I had to go talk to uh, a Hall of Fame fighter that fought all the big fights in his prime. So you think... A fight. Now, what I'm saying is, what makes you the Hall of Fame promoter is to take a chance and put them two young guys in the ring in their prime. That's what constitutes a Hall of Fame promoter to me. So you think De La Hoya would put Boots in a better position than he's in right now, pretty much? I, I, all I can say is to speak on what I know about Oscar, and Oscar's willing to be a Hall of Fame promoter to me meant making that fight between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia right now, today. Verse doing what some promoters do is say, we're going to dribble it out. We're going to not put Ryan in the tough fight, not put Devin in the tough fight, and just keep not giving the fans what they want to see. Gotcha. Just last word for the fans that's watching on Fight Hype for the fight for your son against Ryan Garcia on April 20th, man. Let them know. I'm telling you this. It didn't matter the state or the place. Devin is going to beat up that pretty little face. And there's going to be some men that are going to be happy. There's going to be some women that's going to be crying. By round five, down goes Ryan. Got it. Perfect way to end it. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you.